So Wimby has already cemented himself as the rookie of the year, and even though the Spurs are eliminated from the playoffs, he's putting a nice bow on his first season in the league. So on Sunday, in the loss, as she has mentioned repeatedly to the Sixers, <laughs> yeah. without Embiid, Wimby dropped 33 points, 18 rebounds, six assists, seven blocks, nine and went five for 10 from three. As Kenya also mentioned, he did have nine turnovers in the game, but you already know. If you're a real hooper, you leave that stat out. I had 33 and 18. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the eighth Wimby Gami game this season. So for the season, and those are obviously stat lines that haven't been matched or exceeded. I'm so tired of them damn <laughs> analytic motherfuckers doing that shit all the time. Points, rebounds, and assists. Yeah. Yo, let's, hey. let's, 33 and 18. He's good. Like, he's like, we, we, no, no, he's uh, good. I'm not denying that. We know he's good. Absolutely. But for y'all to find for, this, for the analytic motherfuckers that every time to find, well, Ooh, let's look through the shit and, and find a great, great stat about him. Like, yo, let the man play. He ain't even really proved himself yet. Like, he's been uh, one, year in the, one year in the league. You know what I'm saying? Shit, let him prove himself first. And, he proved and, it. No, I mean, he is proving it now, but to me, he hasn't been there long enough. For sure. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't been doing this long. We don't know if this shit is, is a hey, rookie season. It could be luck. You know yep, what I'm saying? Yep. We're going to see what that sophomore season looks yep, like. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we got, that's how I base it off of. Now, he come out and give me these stats and these numbers, you year. know, next year and then a the year. Oh, yeah, he's fucking great. I you think he's going to do it every single year. He probably can. No, no, no. I'm not he, denying he, he can't. For sure. I'm not denying he can't, but I'm just saying, like, damn, the <laughs> fucking fuck ass lick. You know, so tired of that have, shit. have y'all noticed they... <laughs> They they gonna sit, they gonna think I'm picking on the Euro again. He's a black Euro. <laughs> black Euro. They don't care. They don't care. Gil, they don't care. Go ahead. Like, have you noticed they only do this? Everybody else becomes basketball players, right? He's a basketball player. Just put his basketball stats up there, right? Word. Stop saying like if somebody did have this and it was a guard, they will say first center to ever do it, yeah, right? Exactly. Somebody, there, it was someone that was like, no, oh. shit they did the other day about the 21-year-old shit, right? With the Paolo. Paolo, yeah, yeah, yeah. 22, yeah. 5 yeah. and 5. Yeah. I'm yeah. you. The only 21. Uh, to like, exclude Tyreek, sorry, Tyreek. No other guy, rocking. like, yeah, he was 21 years old, but Tyreek did it. He was 22 or some shit. And they, oh, he, like, he was 20. To not they, one and guy. That's, yeah. what, that's what they do. They yeah. add he something to knock a hole. Everybody else was like, they're like, Jokic made history when he won MVP. I was like, what fucking history did he have? He didn't have a triple double. It was like, oh no, he was the first center. Yeah, dog. To average no, he 20, 2,000 points, 1,000 rebounds, eight, 500 assists. And he had a uh, shoot 6%. Yep. Like, stop adding shit to make it say. <laughs> like, when Russell had a triple double, it was basketball. He was just a basketball player. Like, we're basketball players. You do not have to change to position to prove a point, right? 20. 10 and 8 speaks for itself. He don't have to be a center. He don't have to be a guard. He don't have to be a little person, a number, right? Period. He don't have to be under six fucking foot to do it. Just let the motherfucker just have his stats and just say it. You know why they're doing it? Because we the old niggas and we don't like that shit. And these new niggas and these new fans, Lay niggas. they need that shit to be able to continue to go to the games and watch the games. It's, it's y'all reviewers. Fault. Y'all want to get rid of the 90s. That's y'all fault. No, that, you, you no, 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 no. No, they're getting rid. They're, they're trying to get rid of the nineties because of this shit, right? You're trying to make it seem like somebody doing something <laughs> extravagant. Viewership is down. Yeah, they they got to Viewership is down. No, viewership is down. No, that's cap. No, viewership is down. That's cap. It's down. Oh, that's cap. We need y'all watching, so we need to make up these stats. That's cap. So you can see him play. Oh, well, no, but wait. Now you're contradicting yourself. Cap. So if if it's cap, then how you say the Warriors and the Lakers gonna make it in the playoffs? Because Lakers and Warrior fans are just big. No, because right. you need the views. No, because you, you need the views. You, you need the lead. So right, let's so get back to Wimby quickly. Uh, for this season, Wimby's averaging 21 points, 11 rebounds, four assists, leading the league with 3.6 blocks per game. He's got a 106.3 defensive rated, second lowest in the league behind Rudy Gobert. So considering his age and impact on both sides of the floor, where do you rank Wimby's rookie season amongst the best in the modern NBA since MJ? We can't go back too far with the Wilts, the Creams, and all those guys. They were putting up numbers, but since MJ. Shaq. We got Shaq. Word. Got Shaq rookie. Duncan. Shaq 23, 14 we'll rebounds, rookie, three and a half blocks. We can talk. Word. Shaq, we'll look at Duncan Shaq rookie year. Those are the two that feel two. like. And from an age standpoint, but, Wimby started the rookie but, year at 19. I, I think Duncan started at the 21. Dave Robinson was 24, so. True, but Tim Duncan had an advantage, though. Yeah, he had an advantage with David Robinson, and as you said before, Sean Elliott and it was that, that yeah, they Sean had that Elliott. good playoff team. Pop, y'all good coach, Sean Elliott, 
You know, he had that good mentor with David Robinson. So I, I mean, he was still a rookie, but <clears throat> he he doing it on his own. He ain't got on no his own. Yeah, that's he ain't got no more right. fucking mentors out so other him, big seven footers out there to help him. Wait, so him he was doing it Shaq, on him, LeBron. Shaq was doing it on his own. LeBron, Melo, Melo. I mean, Mello, I mean shit, Melo's. You know, so. he got that team to the playoffs. No, nah, I, I got to win that rookie of the year. Yeah, I got to agree with Kenyon, though, man. Yeah, Shaq, man, Shaq y'all got to go back and look at Shaq rookie yeah. year, man. Yeah. Agreed. You talk about overall just dominance Terror. and beastliness. Man, oh my gosh, bro. I mean, there's only, I mean, when you think about just history, there's only a few, like, young dudes that actually balled out. Right? You're talking about what? Magic, Larry Bird. No, Larry Bird was 20. Larry Bird was 20. He was a rookie. 19. Yeah. I'm talking about the age, okay. not the year. You okay. come in at 20 fucking four, I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> bad, bad, Larry. 19, you're talking about Magic came in at 19. Whoa. Right? Mm. What was Shaq? Was Shaq a sophomore? Shaq did. Three. He did I think three. He was 20, though. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Braun. Chuck. I was 19. Ralph Sampson. Chuck. Hey, I had a couple 50. He was 21, though. Ralph Sampson averaged 21, 11. His rookie. So Shaq, old was, Shaq was 20 his rookie year. He turned okay. 21 in March of that year. How was so Blake 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 all star so his rookie year? So are you really holding a six-foot guy? Rick Evans, 25 and 5. Age against him. Mm. A six who? A six, 5, 11, six-foot guy. Are you really holding his age against him? Yep. Just because he was a rookie, he's fucking. No, I'm, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm talking about rookies. Still six no, no, what I'm saying is, I'm talking about, no, I'm saying rookies, and then there's like, then you have the young, the younger ones. So I'm talking about the young rookies, because he's a young rookie, so I'm comparing him to that age that came in. So it was like Magic, LeBron, him. So you're talking about like so before 20s. Rookies. Before 20s. Chet Holmgren? No. So they, no, not Chet. <laughs> 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 he red shirt. No, I mean, said rookies, I mean, you know, you got Shaq number one by far. But then, like, for who who would be, like, before 19, those type of dudes? Who cares? That's why I say. <laughs> who not cares? Matter and move on. on. So, he should. Because uh, he's on. changing. What he's doing is he's changing the whole but metric. are you comparing, like, a oh, David Robinson's rookie year versus a Wimby rookie? No, I just, rookie. I, just, right. I, just, I just said Shaq. Still rookies. He proved his point. I said Shaq. <laughs> then I said, how about, which is another whole question. No, I'm saying when you I just changed up, the whole question. That's I know, what I did. But when you bring up the age. So we already said Shaq. When you so I said, how about the, the guys before 19? But the, Who, Who's going to be number one in that area? But That's even if he's 22, is. even somebody's 22 and he's a rookie. It's like, Nigga, I already. So anyone 20 and over, Shaquille O'Neal, right? So that means if you're 21 to 27, however old you are when you come in, NBA, Shaq has that. Boom. Okay. So I said anyone under 21, 20, is there, like, who would be the number one in that? Who's the GOAT in under? That's what I was. I mean, saying. I, I was. But that's I mean, LeBron or LeBron or Wimby yeah. right now. Four 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 had some good numbers as as a uh, young fella too. Four four four, Moses Malone. Mm. He came. He came straight out of high school, mm. and he's under twenty as you're yeah. talking about. But I mean, yeah. his numbers wasn't like this. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but four four four, he shit for his time as ever. So, he was, so you he think still putting mm. up some good numbers? So we just give that the magic probably then, since he won a championship um, and I, NBA finals. Well, with that one, yeah, you got to say that mm. for sure. For sure, going in this rookie year. He was mad at 19 when he... Mm-hmm. Yeah. How was Akeem? We don't know. Uh, after 22? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We, 36. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. No, no wow. 25. <laughs> So, Gil, you've already said that Wimby deserves serious consideration for defense. Uh, Hakeem was 22. So, Gil, you already said Wimby deserves serious consideration for uh, defensive player of the year for how he's playing this season. But I want to go around and ask the couch, uh, fill in this blank. Wimby is a top blank player in the league right now. Top 450. If we had to (laughs) narrow that down. Oh, oh you mean a number? Oh, fuck, you didn't say that. He's a top, he's, he's a top oh, young player. He's one of the top young players. I, I always mess with me, man. I, mean, I don't think it's so. 20 better than him right now. So I'll you put him in top I'll, 20? I'll top 20. Okay. Top young players. You know, I still, you still got to respect the vets that's left in there. But he's, he's, <laughs> he's on his way. Yeah. Yeah, he's on his way. He's on his way. I'll cool. say 15. Whoa. So, so saying top 15, do you feel like he could be third team all NBA? I mean, he's third team all NBA. Selection with that? Yes. Based on that criteria. Yeah. Because yeah. with the games played, he's going to definitely hit that, I feel like. Yeah, he's already got 69 yeah. games. All right, I'll, I'll say yeah. 20. Because <laughs> I think it's a bonus to deserve it. Yeah, okay. And that's what that basically what I was yeah. getting at. I think he's getting bonus. better each year. Yeah, he's getting better. I, th- I think he deserved it this year. Oh my God. So I can't put him above him. Is he better than Sabonis? 
Who? Wimby? Right, right, now, yeah. right now, right now, right now, right this yeah. second. Yeah, right now. I don't now, think bro. so right now. Yeah, right mm. now. Fuck right yeah. Now. Woo! Sabonis bring too much to the table, man. If you swapped him out right now, well, what, he's playing what on a better team. Do? Yes. So, he, but he so does that's what I'm more. saying. He's that's playing what, on a better more. team, and he's more he's more of an intricate part of that team. Like everybody knows, shit, it's all Wimby right there. So you put Wimby on the Kings for Sabonis. You swap him out. Shit, Sacramento way better. Yeah, because yeah, Wimby teammates be hating on him. Wimby teammates be hating on him. But who's going to give them the ball the way Sabonis does? He can pass him. Huh? Not the way Sabonis does. No, Sabonis is a willing good. passer. He is, I mean. And he's an offensive rebounder. He is rebounder. too, though. But he, but <clears throat> Wimby is too. Wimby just plays. But, and, and, pass. but I guess Sabonis, Sabonis got the toughness, passing, though. Can pass. Sabonis hmm? don't mind going down there bumping and grinding Absolutely. on them chop blocks. Yeah. Wimby ain't trying to go down there on them yeah. chop blocks. Right now, I mean. It's, 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 it's so hard because it's, the, it's like one of those times where. Never. We are we are we're, we're grading the beat, just the, the individual on his individual stats. Which, I mean, which they keep us away from, man, right? Like four. But that's huh? what we got to do right now. Yeah. He's a like that, like, like even with awards, right? Like the defensive player of the year. I heard someone was like, yeah, this is a great defensive team. They're talking about Minnesota. That's a great team, great defensive team, well, right? And he's, and Rudy's one with other great defensive players. Now mm -hmm. you have a guy who is second behind him and he has no other defensive players. But it's him. a different mentality though. Because, see, now, I can see why maybe they said that about Minnesota. Because if you got Rudy Gobert back there, he's two-time depoy already. Two or three, one of the two. But it changes your mentality because when the mentality that we had when I was in uh, Detroit was for our guards, don't give them an open jump shot, push everything to us. Mm -hmm. Now, that could be the same mentality that they got down there in Minnesota sure. right mm -hmm. now. For sure. Yo, Ant-Man, you guard your man, you press up, y'all make sure they don't get no open threes. Mm -hmm. And he's like, send everything to me. Shit, him and Cat. Yep. You know, you, we got to talk about Cat. He blocked some shots. Nah, let's read a little bit. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so, hey, send him to us. And that, that possibly could be a reason why they're saying that Minnesota is one of the top defensive teams. I mean, it's a great theory. Who, who would you give it to? Like, like, since you guys are defensive players, right? Um... <clears throat> Would you, if you're voting right now, would you vote for Wimby or would you vote for Rudy? I'm giving it to the young boy. Okay. You're giving it to Wimby over Gobert? I'm giving it to Wimby. Why? Just as a rookie to come in and do with you the game as fast as it is for him as a rookie, to come and average three and a half blocks as a rookie in this day and age, and everywhere where, where mm -hmm. everybody is facing the basket now, yep. mm -hmm. and it ain't like he's getting like on the ball, like guys posting up blocks and all that, no. He's covering space. Like, you look at a lot of the blocks, he's covering space. Mm. Like, in the year that fucking Rudy won it, he got more blocks than him. Mm -hmm. So, it's... got to, All these things need to be taken into equation, but I don't have a vote, so what do I know? I ain't, <laughs> I ain't yeah, no... You, you, what you know is you're, you're defensive player. The people who voting, that they didn't play never, no defense. They ain't, they ain't guarding defense. nobody. <laughs> Whoever you locked up. Who are you locked up? He ain't got no blocks, no fucking charges. They don't know nothing. And think about it. That's why... Uh, Wamba Wamba <laughs> changed just as many shots as we, he's blocked. Yeah, we got to call him Wamba Wamba. Wamba Wamba. Wamba. <laughs> who, who, you pick, who, you pick, who you picking? Oh, you got to look for him. Um, no, yeah, I, yeah I, I would say the same thing. I would, right now, I would go with Wamba Wamba. All right. <laughs> Shout out. Two defensive players, Wamba Wamba. Victor Wamba Wamba. Wamba Wamba. Wamba, Wamba. Yeah, no. With an extra slice of cheese. As, as he said, more of an impact. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? He's changing a lot of shots. I ain't necessarily got to block him, but just me getting that hand up or getting that hand out there is... <clears throat> yeah. Back. Which would be easier for them to just D up because you you go by me. You got to deal with him. Yeah. yeah, but he's... Wamba Wamba has to guard other bigs out there who's wing players. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So he's not going to be able to huddle around that basket yeah. all the time. Like... During our era. Yeah, so we were at the um, um the restaurant of the night, um the Maple and Ash spot. Shout out Maple and Ash, guys there. Maple and Ash. Shout out, shout out Maple and Ash. Yeah. Discount next time we pull up with. It was a scout from the Clippers that used to be at UNC Charlotte when I was in college. And what Wimby reminded me of is like so that we talking about it. UNC Charlotte had a drill that they had that, that they did before they played us. Mm -hmm. That if they got an offensive rebound, they couldn't go back up. They had to pump fake and dribble the ball back out of pass out, <laughs> right? That's what Wimby's doing to basketball. Every night. You, mm -hmm. Every night because you got to know where he is when he's on the floor. Because mm -hmm. he covers so much space. Like, so like, I was thinking about it like, 
Like that would, that's See, they don't even factor that in that right. after any offensive rebound, they can't even go back up with it. They got to yeah. take it back out. Gotcha. Fast break. You, you see it on fast break. Yeah, they'll have it. Yeah. And they look in the media because they know he coming. But you know what yeah, I'm saying? We've seen the video that. of a lot of dudes ducking. I love that he actually going after the, he's trying mm. to block that shit. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of bigs, are you big? And you're not trying to block the shot. Like, he's like, get trying that to get shit all. out of here. Yeah. If he get dunked on, it don't matter. He don't, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He don't care if he get posted. Like yeah, he going to block more than that's he gets dunked thing. on. Yep. Like that's, that. that's the thing. As a big, we going to motherfucking block more shots than we get dunked on. Mm -hmm. I know I can say that in my career. I got dunked on, but I definitely beat niggas shit more Did than I, I got. You? No, never. Did I catch him? I was just asking. You know what I mean? I wanted him to, I, I wanted him to memory, think about yeah. it. Like, oh, like, yeah, we got caught him. Did I catch him? <laughs> Next subject. <laughs> Did I catch you? <laughs> I got you that one time in Portland, though. Yeah. So, <laughs> hey, did I catch you? I almost got his ass. I almost, I almost ain't good enough. Bitch, so, though. we asked the chat. He dunked on me before. Can you dunk on me? He called you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but it's shit. cool though. Man. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I, 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 I called the whole team. Yeah, one, one, one by one. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Don't go on. Hey, 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 don't go. He don't go me on action. Chad saying no, did he? He don't go me. I'm like, I'm not even supposed to be down. What you yelling at me for? You in the way? They told me to dig. You in the way? I slipped. So we asked the chat, Wimby is a top blank player in the NBA right now. 23% uh, said he's top 20. 28% said he's top 15. 33% said top 10. They don't know shit. Yeah. I don't know about 10. I don't know Not about yet. 10, yeah. They don't Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, nah. Mm. I can agree with them with the other ones, probably, but yeah, not that. Not yeah, they didn't put him in the microwave already. They didn't <laughs> spit him up. He's going to get there soon. They done already spit him up, right, right now. You know what I'm saying? Wait, like, they a, say top 10 right now? This is hey, a big summer. If we was to uh, actually go This is a big it. summer. This is a big summer. If we was to go through I'm rolling. Right now, like rolling. the 8, 9, 10. Like if we was If we was to go through it, he might be top 10. As an individual, no. 13, 12. What is that? As an individual. But that's still top 15. If we take no win. But it would be questionable, though. We would be like, no, he could be eight or he could be twelve. Some debate. He could be yeah. eight or he could be twelve. You can, you can, you can fight for him. You can name him off right now. You can, you can fight for him. You can fight for him. If he's if he decent yeah. player, as an individual, take eight. out that winning bullshit. You can fight you for him. You can fight for him. Yeah, the the yeah we had a issue with the percentages, technical difficulty. So thirteen percent said top ten, twenty three percent said top fifteen. Same difference. Thirty three percent said top twenty. So y'all percent said top. Yeah, that's all stuff. This ain't this like the MVP vote. They over itch. Switching it up. 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 Now 